All right, exciting moment. We are going to open and install the CPU. Now this is a Skylake 6th generation i7-6700NK. K holds for unlocked, so the multiplier on this processor is completely unlocked, which means we're going to be overclocking the hell out of it. Those 6700K do not come with a stock fan, which is a good thing, because Intel finally gets the idea that when we're going to get a 6700K, we're going to overclock it and a stock fan is not going to work for us because simply we're going to have to keep the CPU as cool as possible so that we can overclock it to its full potential. Now first things first, make sure that you've selected a CPU which works for the socket of your motherboard. There are different kind of sockets out there, so make sure that they are fully compatible. So in our case, we are using an 1151 socket with an 1151 compatible Skylake processor. Now back on the motherboard, you can see me playing with the sink. What I did is press the sink and then pushed it left, then it liberates itself. And here you can see where the CPU will sit. A golden pyramid on one side of the CPU will indicate us in which position the CPU should sit on the motherboard. Uh, the same golden pyramid will be indicated on your motherboard and both pyramids should be pointing at the same direction. Once the CPU rests in its place and both pyramids point in the same direction, that's really important, you will see that the CPU cannot move anymore. It is stable in its final holding place. And now it's time to remove the black plastic shield who was protecting the CPU holder all this time. Now, this next step can be tricky if it's your first time. Uh, we are going to put back the socket in place and pull on the sink on the left and place it right under the CPU holder. Et voilà, yet another element put in place. 